Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is pernicious anemia. Pernicious anemia or Edisonian megaloblastic anemia is a chronic hematopoietic disorder characterized by deficient secretion of intrinsic factor due to atrophy of the gastric mucosa. Pathogenesis Pernicious anemia is caused by the atrophy of gastric mucosa due to autoimmune reaction against the gastric parietal cells. It is evident by high incidence of pernicious anemia in patients with other autoimmune diseases like Graves' disease, myxoidema, diabetes, etc. Presence of abnormal circulating autoantibodies such as antiparietal cell antibody and anti-intrinsic factor antibody. Increased incidence among its relatives. Pathological and clinical improvement with steroid administration common in agama globulinemia patients. Pathology Gastric atrophy affecting acid and pepsin secreting portion of the stomach and sparing of anthrum, most characteristics. Cellular ATP of gastric epithelium, malignant transformation in 2 to 3 percent cases. Abnormalities secondary to vitamin B12 deficiency like megaloblastoid alterations in gastric and intestinal epithelium and neurological alterations like peripheral neuropathy and spinal cord damage. Clinical features, insidious onset and slow progression, average age of presentation is about 60 years with equal sex ratio. Clinical manifestations include anemia, glossitis, neurological manifestations like neuropathy, subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord, retrobulba neuritis, gastrointestinal manifestations like diarrhea, anorexia, weight loss, dyspepsia, hepatosplenomegaly, congestive cardiac failure and hemorrhagic manifestations. Laboratory findings Hypergastrinemia Pentagastrin test confirmed achlorohydria Peripheral smear finding Hemoglobin Hemoglobin values are below normal Red cells blood picture shows characteristic macrocytosis Basophilic stippling and occasional normoblast may be seen. Reticulocyte count the reticulocyte count is generally low to normal in untreated cases. Absolute values, red cell indices shows MCV elevated above 120 femtoliters, MCH elevated above 50 picograms, MCHC normal or reduced. Leukocytes, blood film may show characteristic hypersegmented neutrophils. Platelets, platelet count may be moderately reduced and by their forms of platelets may also be seen. Bone marrow finding. Marrow cellularity. The marrow is hypercellular with a decreased myeloid erythroid ratio. Erythropoiesis. The erythroid hyperplasia is due to catastic megaloblastic erythropoiesis. Megaloblasts are abnormally large nucleated erythroid precursors having nuclear cytoplasmic asynchrony that is the development of cytoplasm exceeds the development of the nucleus or nuclear maturation lags behind that of cytoplasm. Other cells. Jane forms of uh, metamyelocytes and band cells may be present. Marrow iron. Erythroid precursor shows increase in size and number of iron granules on Prussian blue staining. Biochemical findings. Rise in serum bilirubin, LDH, hepatoglobin, ferritin and iron. Normal serum folate but reduced red cell folate. Schilling test. Abnormal due to IF deficiency, chromosomal abnormalities. Treatment Replacement therapy with vitamin B12, symptomatic and supportive therapy such as physiotherapy for neurological deficit, blood transfusion occasionally, follow up for early detection of carcinoma stomach. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.